It's uh, Captain Rob with the owner, Doug, of this classic Cobalt. This is what, a 20? It's 19 foot. 19-foot Cobalt. It has a uh, 228 Merc Cruiser on it, okay? And everything is in pristine condition. Uh, mostly used, what, fresh water? Fresh water, right. Um, down in uh, Virginia. Yeah, never, left in, never, never left in the water overnight, always came out of it. Always came out. And got flushed and washed. And flushed and washed. And garage kept. In the, in the water. And as you can see by the hull, bottom's not painted. Everything is, uh, gel coat is fine. I'm gonna move to the interior in my next uh, video clip. Here we're on the 19.5 uh, Cobalt. Nice, bright, sunny day in Staten Island. That's why you get a little bit of uh, a shadow. Companion, helm seat. There's actual storage behind the rear seating, which I'll take some pictures of shortly to show how clean everything is. Um, all teak throughout. Hey, Doug, is the steering wheel teak too? Yeah. And a teak steering wheel. When's the last time you've seen something like that? In that shape. In that shape. We even have a rear view mirror to watch your skiers out back. Perfect. And uh, this has to be probably classified as one of the first bow riders, I would take it, right? No? Well, they had to put that the back there. Yeah, there was a lot of different... There was, was different styles, styles yeah. Because they had bow riders, so I don't know whether that was probably a fairly new option. Well, back back then, you know, you didn't, you know, it, it was kind of common to have, uh, you know, inboards in a 20 foot, 22, and such. What do you like about the construction of this Cobalt? You said something about the backing plates? Yeah, well, in, around the top edge where all the trim bolts on underneath the fiberglass is a, a quarter inch thick steel plate that does the whole circumference of the boat. So when everything gets put on, goes through, and gets drilled and tapped, is uh, solid as a rock. And as far as the engine, you pretty much did most of the maintenance on it? Mm hmm So um, pretty much a freshwater boat for the most part, right? right Correct? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, always... Uh, uh, always... Age-related age stuff was replaced. Water pump, manifolds. Manifolds. It's got a brand new starter in it. Uh, all completely tuned up. Plugs, points, condensers, the whole shoot and match. And... Uh, Turn the key in the way, you got a new battery in it. And you flush the engine every time after being used. Never, never got missed. And it does not have an hour gauge, I take it. It does. It does? What's this one here? What's this one here? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'll, see, I'll, I'll take a picture of it afterwards. Inside, uh, the Cobalt uh, on the companion seat. As you can tell, everything is teak. This is the front door, which uh, opens up, all teak perfect condition as you can see the engine uh, gauges steering wheel is teak original throttle control helm seat back into uh, the cockpit stern area um, actually the seat folds out took a picture of it where there's storage underneath this is underneath here is a little ice box that has a drain towards the backside. And so there's in the center, there's basically that's where the fuel tank is and there's storage, which you could actually fit water skis, fishing poles that runs all the way up through uh, forward. The trailer is, what type of trailer again? Easy loader. Easy loader. It's a 1980? 1980. 
galvanized. All galvanized. The brakes were redone. Completely new brake sets. The whole Tires will even look brand new. Tires are new. They're not brand new, but then they're newer. They're newer. The axle was replaced. New axle in there. And the third. Make sure it's just and, and pretty much, again, like we said earlier, um, the boat's mostly been in, in fresh water. Right. The new brake lines on it. And, and uh, the tongue hitch as well, that's been? Right. Ready to go. Captain Rob and Doug signing off. Another beautiful day in Staten Island.